All right, a little bit of a hiccup there. I'm picking this game back up after um, what is at this point several months have been since the last time I played it. Um, I don't know what it, what it was. I'd have to say um, I was playing through this and then I stumbled into this area without upgrading my character's equipment or anything like that. So I found myself being outclassed by the enemies, and it didn't occur to me why I didn't upgrade the equipment. So every time I would think like, oh man, I gotta... I gotta record a little bit of Final Fantasy IX. I ended up not doing it because I was intimidated by the prospect of having to go in there and continue to grind away in order to make my character strong enough. So then I go and I, um... Fire it up this time and I was like, wait a sec, there's a store right over there. What the hell am I doing not going to the store? Get your ass over there and pick up all of these items. So it gave me a lot of new abilities like, um, Fraga here. Powerful new fire spell for Vivi. New weapons for Steiner and and uh, Dagger there. Anyway, I, I, characters are beefed up. I also, before I started recording, went and increased the internal resolution renderer of the emulator in order to give the game a little bit of a smoother appearance. I was trying to avoid doing things like that for this game. I, in fact, I used a completely different emulator when I started playing it. And it had a much more of a um, true look to it. Resembled the original PlayStation much more than than EPSXE does. But viewing it on a larger screen, after a while I sort of started to grow tired of it. So a few episodes back I went and I changed it over to EPSXE. Because it could render at a better resolution and all that shit. Now I find myself, um, oh, Red Hat. They're Linux users. Red Hat. Oh, I already had one of these things. <laughs> and then after firing it up this time, I looked at it like, ah, you know what? Why not jack up the resolution a little bit? I mean, it may not actually... Uh, show for you viewing the video because of the way I um don't put the lever down when you first used it well oh, great it may not actually show up for you guys because of the resolution that I encode the video at and upload it is at 640 by 480 because that's actually like twice the horizontal and vertical resolution of the actual game so I figured, you know, that's good enough to give an improvement that we're all looking for. And it does look nicer. But I'm like, you know what, why the hell not just jack it up, at least just for my own sake while viewing the game while playing it. Unfortunately, the more you change the resolution, the more you start to see differences between the background and the, um, the way the characters look. Hair. Head. Hairpin. Okay, what's she wearing now? Oh, okay, yeah, that's definitely an improvement. Auto regen also. That's, that's pretty awesome. I should probably find a way to get that going. Since the backgrounds use, oh my god, ten points. Oh, that's really nice to use, though. <laughs> what can I do? Hmm. Okay, Insomniac and Loudmouth. Ah, uh, I kind of need... Loudmouth. Antibody? No. Okay, how about that? And Insomniac. That'll do it. The backgrounds are... Um, pre-rendered and stored as an image file in the game data and they're just loaded up so no matter what you do the resolution of the renderer that's never gonna change 
but the actual character graphics are rendered in 3D polygonal geometry and all of that so they are changed by the internal renderer resolution so you can actually drive it to such an extent where the characters even though low detail will be rendered in a high resolution meanwhile the uh, backgrounds will continue to look exactly as they will have looked all the time in fact can get a little bit grainy when you jack up the resolution too high because ah damn it dagger <laughs> It can actually make it look ugly. And then you add the disparity between the shit guard. <laughs> between the internal resolution rendering and the. Am I doing something wrong here? It guarded against Steiner there. All elemental attacks. Alright, so this isn't going to work. Of course, you're not going to notice that in the battles because of the fact that everything during the battles is rendered in 3D, except for obviously the UI. Shit, he tranced. It's one of the most irritating things, I think, about this game is the fact that instead of having the limit break system, which you could in some way um, utilize strategically, saving a limit break between one battle to the next, as in seven or eight, where you can intentionally keep your health low, you're likely to trance in this game during battles which are meaningless. There was no, that battle took a while, but it was by no means a difficult one. It can it can drive you nuts sometimes. Where the hell are my potions? No, oh, there's not even anything over here. All right. This song is freaking terrible. I don't know what the hell this is supposed to be. It's a shame, because generally the um, music in this game is pretty good. Uh, what was it? Pull down? Ah, eh, whatever. Get back to that. Hey, Moogle! I consider it rather fortunate that this area doesn't have an extremely... Ah, damn it. I was actually going to say it doesn't have an extremely high encounter rate. Oh, man. It proved me wrong real quick, didn't it? Anyway, I was going to say it was a good thing, anyway, that the the um, encounter rate was low, which turned out not to actually be the case, because the battles take so damn long anymore. It's, one of the, uh, it's kind of an irritating thing. I mean, it is definitely something that isn't really as big of a problem anymore, and this was probably one of the last, at least, like, last Final Fantasy games, because it wasn't as big of a problem in 10. One of the last, um, things that was like 90s era designs of, oh, a boss, of encounter rates being high, the random encounter rates being high, and enemies taking a long time to defeat. It was really bad back in the very early Final Fantasy games, like 1 through 5. Jeez, the battle could take forever in those games. And it happened like every five fucking steps. Drove ya damn nuts. Alright, let's, um. Uh, let's do what we gotta do. 
This thing's a boss, right? Uh, oh, Leviathan. That looks powerful. Burn off half my MP on one attack. Great idea. She's probably not actually going to do it anyway. Yeah, look, she didn't do it. <laughs> I forget what this thing's weakness is. Oh, dagger's down. I didn't actually see if I stole anything in the last move. Oh, a tent. <laughs> That's worth it, huh? Come on, dagger, actually do it. Ah, oh, you stupid bitch. Can't concentrate. Never mind the fact that you're about to die because you're not doing any attacks. Heal the team, it's why you're here. Oh, that looks bad. Looks like dag oh, dagger's not dead. Oh, she's actually gonna do it. <laughs> There we go, that helps. I gotta adjust the emulator settings. It's The game is supposed to run at 60 frames per second, but the frame rate drops a lot. Oh shit, it's dead. Was there anything else I could have stolen? Ooh, accuracy plus. These characters are leveled way higher than all the other characters. I have to put some effort later on into bringing them up a little bit. Ooh, Elixir. Ah, I'm stuck. There we go. Oh, I thought I was supposed to, like, crawl through that hole in the wall. I hate to burn another tent, but, you know, got to do what you got to do. I bought a crap ton of these things for a reason. Oh, man, the analog control on this emulator using a 360 controller is really bad. It's one of the reasons why I'm bumping into everything. It's because... It's like an eight-way control, like you were using a D-pad, only there's an analog stick involved. So the precise movements aren't that great. Why are you here if there's the other one in... whatever. How many Moogles does this place need? Two, you're worthless compared to him. Her, whatever. We'll leave her down a second time. A lot of dissenting opinion on what we should be doing with this lever. What the hell is this place supposed to be anyway? Oh, Gaia Gear! Um, who gets that? Uh, High Tide. I don't want to lose the strength. I mean, high tide's not something I tend to use. High tide, um... High tide is a, an ability which increases the speed in which you get, um... What is it? Your overdrive, or whatever it's called, um... <laughs> transmeter. Leveled up. And I'm losing magic. Well... VV will actually get something out of it. Osmos. And High Tide, but Osmos. I forget what Osmos does. Uh, oh, it's a, it's a usable ability. Only two. Ah! That's right. 
I remember now. I guess it draws its name from osmosis. Oh, here's another one of these things. Maybe that's why there are multiple Moogles around. Because you're going to keep encountering these damn things, and then you go and um, have to heal afterwards. Because they're pretty, they pretty tough. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, go all out. All out. Uh, they're fire monsters, right? So... Come on, didn't actually see her. I mean, you're not going to. They they uh, abbreviated a lot of summoning animations in this game. I mean, the entire thing will play sometimes. Other times, it's just like a shorter version of the animation will play. Let's see Leviathan. I haven't seen Leviathan yet, have I? Fuck him up! Hurry up! If you don't worry about MP usage, you could be remarkably effective in this game. Look how much damage we're doing. Rama hasn't cast yet, has it? There we go. Oh, no. Uh, tsunami. See, look how much slowdown we're looking at right there. Yeah, it's almost dead. We're good. You know what it probably was back when they were developing this area, this dungeon here. They had these enemy encounters and the bosses and all that kind of stuff. And then they ran into a point where it just ended up being just a little bit too taxing on the player. Oh, uh, well, okay, you're over there and you fight the wand, but then you'll run across the Moogle after too long. Then you'll move on. And then you'll fight these two. Sure, you can do the two, but after that, you may have expended a lot of your resources. I'm fine right now, but you may have expended a lot of your resources, so then what do you do after that? Well, they stuck another Moogle in there just in case you weren't able to, um weren't able to deal with it, you know? Oh, man. What other abilities am I missing? Auto float. Not too bad to have, but not not a huge priority for me. MP plus 20 is pretty freaking cool. Uh, this one here, though... What, what, what the hell was it? Auto regen and MP plus 20. I saw... Oh, okay. That gives a lot of awesome stat boosts, though. Strength, not really necessary. Magic to 42, and evade and magic defense. <sighs> I want that MP plus 20. An auto regen. Which means I can remove the gold hairpin if necessary. Although, there's no real need. May not be the best choice, forward looking, but I'll do it anyway. Alrighty. Where's that Moogle? I'm gonna rest up at a tent anyway, just to be sure. Alright. What do you say? Pull down twice. Oh, that's not it. I may be acting like an idiot right now. Um, 
I'm just gonna click down. There we go. A bunch of times. And now I'm gonna. Oh, I can take the damn thing down. <laughs> Just a bucket. Oh shit, there's another one. Uh, how many of them do I have to fight this time? I suppose there's no point in showing this battle here. That battle actually gave me a little bit more of a fight than I was expecting. Uh, I didn't end up losing any characters, but Steiner and Dagger were... In uh, we're knocked down pretty close to death. wonder if there's a Moogle down here to, um, to, you know. Whoops. Ah, that'll do. It's a dry well, I mean... Oh, shit, there's a something down here. Can't let that happen. Don't stand there and watch this shit. Oh, Mog's got some shit up his sleeve.
Oh, wow. So it was an Idolin or whatever they call him in this game masquerading as a Moogle. Whoa, that's a little out of nowhere. I would suspect that Zorn and Thorn are actually um, just sort of, what do you want to call them? Just creations of Kuja. We got Eco back, but she's not leveled properly. So she has these abilities, but she doesn't have... Um, She's not leveled like the other characters. I'm still not expecting this to be all that difficult, but uh, we'll, we got to be careful here. Still, I'm trying to steal shit. <laughs> all right, let's. Uh, I kind of want to. Don't want to burn through all of Eco's MP. Because she's the only one that can reliably heal other characters. <sighs> okay, assuming that Zorn and Thorn are just creations of Kuja. Sort of like the way the Black Mages are. I wonder why nobody would have suspected what they were beforehand. I mean, that's assuming that they are, in fact, creations of Kuja and not just some other creature. And I'm not quite sure what to make it what I'm looking at right now. Were they in... I mean, the way that they spoke, sort of, in this weird tandem way of saying the same thing, just sort of in reverse order, one of them was speaking normally, the other was Yoda speaking. I think maybe that there was either some sort of psychic connection between the two of them, or they were, the two of them were actually just the same creature, just in two separate bodies. But I mean, looking at it right now, and they're clearly the same creature at this point, but they have two heads. I, I, don't, I don't know, maybe there's, there's some sort of an explanation to all of this that I'm not going to bother looking into. Oh, you can actually cast that now, can you? Hmm. 
Leviathan is always one of the most impressive looking summon abilities in the Final Fantasy games. Slow down. Powerful attack, though, huh? Eco's got some affliction going on there. I mean, the only real difficulty here is keeping Eco alive. Everyone else is doing pretty good. Even with me dicking around trying to steal from this thing. There is an ability to increase Zidane's um, steal chance, but I don't have it activated. Probably should have, knowing that this boss battle was coming. Gone and put and did that in order to get through this shit quicker. Honestly, the steel chance is way too low. Yep, Steiner's trancing. It's dead. Whatever I had to seal, I didn't get. Kind of suspected that Steiner trancing would have, um, would have killed it. Lied to the mages. Oh, okay. There you are. <laughs> 